Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. Today, um, I, we have finished the recipe. We officially, it's taken years to finish. Uh, yeah, enjoy. Is that a thumb? Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. Today I have some stamps from scrapbook.com. I am making my mom's birthday card. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're gonna make a birthday card for granny. Yeah. She likes the beach like yeah. I do. So I'm using the Hello Summer stamp set and this has a giant sun. And I'm also using the Sunny Days Ahead stencil. And we're going to kind of do a fun, summery background thing. I don't know. We're winging it, as usual. We are starting with the background. I have a piece of Nina 110-pound cardstock and the Sunny Days Ahead stencil. We're going to do some ink blending with some Catherine Pooler inks. I've got the Ranger... Uh, stencil brushes. These are really cool because you can kind of gauge how much ink you want to use uh, based on how big or wide you make the brush bristles. You can adjust them by sliding the housing up and down to make it a lot of bristles or a little bit of bristles. I have masked off where I want to have my sun because that's just going to be white. And then I'm creating a gradient with a couple different uh, orangey reds. Um, you know, to, to make it warm, to warm it up in here. My mom and I have some things in common and we both love the beach. So I'm making her a beach card for her birthday. This panel is cut to three and a half by four and three quarters so that I can have a nice gray fog frame around it when I add it to a card base. But I want to stamp the sun and then cut it out and put it where I masked off. I'm using the same inks that I used in the blending of the rays, but I'm also using a sponge dauber to kind of blend the areas when I change the ink color so that it's not such a harsh line. So I started noticing um, where the stamp had too much oil and it wasn't picking up the ink because the sun is like a super solid, huge stamp. But honestly, I really liked those white kind of like really hot parts of the sun. So I did not ink blend them or fix them in any way. I kept those white kind of miss stamps or whatever on purpose. I grabbed some plain circle dies and just picked one that went all the way around my sun image and cut it out. I intend to pop up this sun on my panel. So it's going to get cut off at the bottom of that card panel. Well, you can't have a beach card without some waves. Waves, right? Well, I would thought about adding waves at the bottom, but then I figured I could use that blue color and incorporate it into the sentiment. So I'm using the happy birthday die set from scrapbook.com and another piece of that heavyweight cardstock and some, this time some teal inks uh, to make an ink blended panel for my sentiment, for my waves per se. I'm going to end up adding them all together, adding them all together, but I lost the bird stamp that I had set aside. It was a little tiny birds, two birds in the stamp set, and I had set them aside on my tabletop and I couldn't find them. Nobody move. Thank goodness I found them. They were stuck to the bottom of my die cutting machine and I, I needed them on this card. I'm stamping them in a very dark gray ink in the background off in the distance and then I'm gonna find some gray paper that kind of coordinates with that ink color to add in to my sentiment is it crazy how much gray cardstock I own I mean it's my favorite color from the lightest of grays to the darkest of grays that's me I'm all 50 shades of gray over here that's weird 
So I have cut this sentiment from the heavyweight white cardstock and also my chosen shade of gray, and I'm just layering them together with liquid adhesive. Nothing fancy. I'm using an acrylic block to weigh it down as I go so that it's nice and tight and it ends up being a nice solid sentiment to add to your card. Very similar to a piece of chipboard or something like that that you might add on a scrapbook page. Every time I do a voiceover I get so annoyed at the amount of deep breaths that I take. Now that I mention it it's going to start to annoy you too so I'm very sorry I shouldn't have said anything but golly I can't breathe over here. So now that I have all of the parts and pieces to my card, I'm popping up the sun and adhering the sentiment in place to finish off the card. To pop up that panel, I'm just using craft foam and tear tape adhesive. Also, my tabletop is not secured and I've been lazy and I haven't secured it, so that's why it shakes like that. It's also extremely annoying when I'm editing my videos to see that. This is the truth behind YouTube, y'all. This is what you don't hear all the time, the frustrations and the difficulties behind the scenes. But alas, I hope that you enjoyed making a card with me today. I will leave some links in the description box to scrapbook.com where I got these products. And um, I hope she likes it. I really like it. I love the colors. So until next time. Let's wish my mom a happy birthday in the comments. Follow me elsewhere on social media. I love you guys.